Hey YouTube, this is the Charizard Authority. Got some releases for you here. Most of this stuff has probably already been shown online, but I'm going to open it up for you anyways. There are several more releases still to come up. I know the World Championship decks were supposed to release tomorrow on November 9th, but it has been pushed off towards the end of November. I assume that's because Pokemon is so far behind on things. But in this video, we're going to open up the Kangaskhan EX box, the Treasure 10, and then the Gengar EX box off to the right. So we'll actually start with, I'm going to start with the Kangaskhan EX box. So we got a cool new Jumbo. If I can adjust this upwards a little bit. It is an exact reprint of the Flashfire 78106, the one that was in a couple of the World Championship decks. Pretty cool card. I would have not picked it for a jumbo now, maybe back when Flashfire came out. I'm going to give you guys this code, mainly because if you look at it, they actually spelled Kangaskhan wrong. They put Kangaskhan EX box. Comes with four booster packs, and then of course the promo is Kangaskhan EX, the exact same as the Jumbo. Pokemon did not do as good a job as with Mewtwo on these EX promos that look like they got rushed again, so they started damaging the product, which is unfortunate, especially since this stuff has already arrived so late. All right, next up we've got the Geng Gengar EX box. Just so you guys know, I will open up the packs at the very end. Maybe we'll pull something good. So the Gengar EX, an exact reprint of the Phantom Forces Gengar EX. It would have been nice to have a promo so it would have been easier to play the Shiny Mega Gengar EX in current. I guess I'll go ahead and throw in this promo as well, or this code as well. They did spell Gengar EX right on this one. Promo, same as the Jumbo as always. I prefer this one to Kangaskhan. Got eight packs ready to open up. All right, this is something that I wait on every year, but they say they've done it for the past few years anyways. It's always pretty good. They've gotten better with this release each year, in my opinion. The first year they had the Trico Mudkip Torchic promos in there, which really didn't do well. Last year they had Pikachu, Hoopa, and Chessman, which did pretty well to me. The promo Pikachu was always nice. And then this year, they actually um, they upped the price of the box by $5 retail. And really the only thing they changed was the promo's quality. Alright, so we've got the Volcanion XY164. It's a pretty cool flip a coin for each fire energy attached to this Pokemon. It does 50 damage times the number of heads. Maybe pair that one with the other Volcanion. You can really power these things up. Next up, we've got the Magearna, uh, almost like a, a Rainbow Road counter. It has the Prismatic Wave, which does 20 damage times the number of different types of Pokemon on your opponent's bench. So, I mean, that could be in, I mean, if they're running eight, eight types on the bench or maybe even more, I mean, you can bring that out and hit them for 160 with one energy. Next up, probably the, the best improvement, they actually stuck an EX in here. In fact, it's a shiny Mega Gengar EX, and it's a new promo as well, XY166. Really cool. I'm sure some people would like to play it, especially since it makes the active Pokemon confused and poisoned, which, I mean, you can't really get rid of confusion unless you retreat. Same thing with poisoned. So, I mean, it's going to be a, a troublemaker for anyone um, getting attacked by this, but without the regular Gengar EX, you can't play it in the current format. They didn't do a great job of packaging. I mean, it wasn't too bad. I definitely prefer these to the Jumbo Boxes. But... I definitely like the improvement to a, a shiny mega Pokemon over a uh, just a regular promo. And then the coin's pretty cool. It's, uh, you were able to get the, the Mega Gengar promo, or the coin, the purple one, in several other releases before now. This is a silver version. As far as I know, this one hasn't come out, but Pokemon puts coins in so many things now, I'm sure it has been released somewhere else. In addition to this treasure tin, you get five booster packs. You get two evolutions. 
Steam Siege, and then I think if you don't get Breakthrough, you get Ancient Origins, and if you don't get Phantom Forces, you get Furious Fist, so these packs can alter. But these two are usually paired together, and then the Furious Fist and Ancient Origins is usually paired together. I would actually prefer this. I like Breakthrough. It's got a lot of money cards in it, and the Phantom Forces. I mean, Verse Seeker, even though it's tanked because of the, the release from uh, Battle Arena, it's still going to be a good card in the long run. You also get four pencils, which if you come to my store today and you're watching this video, you can get them for free because I do not do anything with them. Same thing with the stickers. We're going to be handing them out for free. Once uh, we've handed out everything, the notepads as well, we're going to hand those out. If there's any left over, then we'll just give them to schools. Tried selling them online, they don't really sell. And you also get the, the mini album. Holds 60 cards, it's 30 pages, but if you put cards front to back, it holds 60 cards. And then the chest, the lunchbox tin is pretty cool in itself. It's got a little handle. It doesn't hold much weight, but it's fairly sturdy, and these did not come all dinged up like the last set. So that's everything. Those are the three releases. Looks like we have the booster packs left to open up, and I'm going to sort them out. We'll open up the Evolutions last since it's the newest set. I am really surprised at how quickly the price is just tanked on Evolutions, but I guess everybody was investing and banking on it being a great set. And I mean, it is a, a good set from a collector standpoint, but not from the playability overall. Here's a Phantom Forces code. I don't have a use for that. Let's see what we got. Cool, we got a Gengar Spirit Link. How appropriate. Mantula, Golbat, Luminion, and Zuidus. There was also one breakthrough pack. And code for somebody. Verse Hollow Vivalon. Got a rare Braviary. And then nothing really else in that pack. Got two breakpoint packs. There's a code. Another code. Looks like there's something good in that second pack. Oh wow, there's a <clears throat> full art Espeon EX in the first pack. Didn't even see that from the side when I first went through. Max Potion. We also got a full art Ho-Oh EX. So the breakpoint packs were very nice to us. Next up we have one, two, three Steam Siege packs. Pretty excited to actually pull some full arts. It's been a while since I've been able to do that in booster packs on camera, I believe. Other than maybe that booster box open, of course. Evolutions was weird. Like um, I imagine some of you who got half boxes from sites were pretty mad because I was opening them up in half box sections and some of those half boxes had nothing but like one break and then the other half would have five megas. I mean it was nuts how stacked the, the sides of the boxes were for evolutions. And I think that had an effect on the elite trainers as well. So here we have three Steam Siege booster packs. First hollow Shellos, hollow Yveltal. Pack number two, reverse hollow Dino, rare Avalug. Pack number three, we got Reverse Hollow Sneasel and a Magirna EX. Not too bad. Three EX pulls. Now we're on to Evolutions. We have six packs. I've never had code sell for so high, like as I did with um, the Evolution set. I was sold out 4,000 codes, you know, the first two customers, and they were willing to pay it was like 45 cents a piece for 2,000 codes, and then another 2,000 codes sold for 50 cents a piece. And they were more than happy to pay that. They were actually asking for more, and I didn't have more. I actually had to open up some extra booster boxes because of the, some of the delayed shipments on this set. We're about to crank through all six evolution packs finish out this video. We 
Inverse Hollow Blastoise Spirit Link. Then we got a rare Doug Trio. Brock's Grit's probably one of the few playable trainers in the set. Reverse Hollow Metal Energy and another rare Doug Trio. Reverse Hollow Devolution Spray. A third <laughs> rare Doug Trio. I don't think I've ever had that happen before. Three rares exactly the same in a row. Reverse Hollow Porygon and a rare Electrode. Reverse Hollow Missy's Determination and Rare Eradicate. So these evolution packs so far are a dud. Five rares. Double colorless energy, that's not bad. Reverse Hollow Haunter and a rare Dugong. So didn't even get a secret rare in the uncommon. So those evolution packs did not do very well, but if you remember earlier we did pull two full art EXs and one regular EX Magirna. Either way, I hope you enjoyed the openings. We had Gengar EX, the the collection box, the Kangaskhan EX collection box, and then we had the 2016 Treasure 10, which is personally my favorite. Thanks.